Hi there. Hi, an how actor. you doing? An actor. Wonderful. Where? Good to see you. Well, I don't know. You're like a super hyphen, like me. Yeah, I'm a super hyphen. Like <laughs> how are you? Good to see I'm you. I'm doing good, actually. I'm having a lot of fun here. Yes. Yeah? So yeah. what's going on today here? Uh, here at the Emmy Gifting Suite, I'm getting introduced to all sorts of fancy technology and cosmetic products and nice. food and fashion and candy you know, and some coffee. Coffee and, and Wolfgang's looking a little stiff, but he looks good, right? We look better. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, so tell me, what is going on with you these days? I mean, you're like this multi-talent. Going crazy. Yeah, voiceover work, uh, film work. Yeah, I've got. I mean, I'm, I've got all the the video game stuff that I do uh, with the Assassin's Creed and Halo and nice. Call of Duty and all those things that I'm loving. But um, right now, I'm promoting um, the movie Diana with Naomi Watts playing Princess Diana and uh, having a lot of fun with that. I'm playing Dodi Fayed. It just premiered. Um, in London, which I was there for the premiere, it was huge. It was a little bit mind blowing. When is the premiere uh, here? And the premiere here, it, it is going to be released November first, twenty thirteen. And I think the premiere is being slated sometime in the last week of October. They haven't set an exact date yet. Uh, very we'll excited hear about from that. You. You'll definitely hear from me. You definitely. It'll either be in Los Angeles, New York, but we don't know yet when it is. But I'm very really excited exciting. about it. Very excited. How long did you shoot on it? Um, Probably about two months, all all in all. Yeah, really? started in like June, it ended in like October, so about two months in there. Yeah. And yeah. how was it shooting with the cast and crew over in England? Pretty amazing. Um, I mean, Naomi Watts is uh, is a pro. Like she's she's a, a rock star of actors, and uh, she really captured the essence and spirit of Diana. Princess Diana. Yeah, uh, which is not an easy thing to do. Like this this woman, I learned. I'm I'm born in Canada and. I did not have the same kind of attachment to the royal family as say someone from Europe would have had. So I learned a lot shooting this movie, and she's an incredible woman. Uh, Princess Di did a lot of things and was a very, very strong-willed, strong-minded woman who had to had to cope with a lot well, being absolutely. part of that family. Right, and not only that, but she gave back a lot. And I actually lived in England, you know, in London for six years. Oh, you did? And so it was just really terrific. And it was also during the time, and I remember exactly where I was when it happened. And I, it broke me. It really did. Because, really? you know, you just look at someone who has so much, but gave so much of yeah. herself. She really did. I mean, from everything that I learned from, from working on this movie, she, she could have done anything she wanted to do. She could have uh, enjoyed the, the life that she had and the lifestyle. But she was constantly trying to give back. She was constantly trying to help people. She wanted, wanted to change the world. Exactly. And that's a very admirable thing, uh, especially when they actually go out of their way and they do the, the, the hard work of actually going out there and doing things. There's one part of the movie that um, shows her efforts with uh, removing the landmines um, that were injuring and killing children. Um, that she literally walked through a landmine field, uh, a field that had been de-landmined just to show which is a very dangerous thing to do. Absolutely. Uh, just to show how committed and how, how convicted she was to clearing these things and making these fields safe for all the children because around Because a the world. lot of times, you know, people can talk, but unless you can walk the walk. Literally, you know, walk really the walk. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So speaking of secret, you know, being mm -hmm. in a secret room and all, yeah. what, is there a secret that you walked out of from the set, the film, director, anything <laughs> that you can share with us? Oh, you're looking for dirt. Oh, absolutely. Is that it? <laughs> Come on, on camera. Um, fun with me. I honestly, I all... It was a. I, I spent two weeks on a yacht with Naomi Watts, so there's nothing really to walk out on that. Uh, the the director was a was a loving tyrant, Oliver Hirschbiegel, and I got to work. Uh, I didn't get to work in the movie with, but I got to hang out with Na Naveen Andrews, who plays um, the male lead in the movie, Doctor Hasnat Khan, because the movie's about uh, the secret love affair between. Naomi Watts and, and Dr. Hasna Khan and uh, I played Naveen's brother oh, on Lost. So you guys have actually worked together. So we worked together, we hung out together, so it's like the brothers reunited on the movie. So it was all pretty much fun. So. Yeah. Well, we just served in Venice, but that's all. I Nothing will, like that on set. Nothing I will, cool. I will say what was really un unusual about this movie for me is I've never worked on a movie that had this kind of level of um, world interest. And so the first two weeks that we were shooting literally we were on the yacht and we were surrounded by paparazzi in boats hmm. 
So there was, I've never had that. I've had paparazzi on the red carpets when the movie's premiering, but, but I've never, I've never had people kind of like driving around in speedboats taking photos of us and us like on the deck and they're looking to catch any little move that we make. Imagine doing that show. final scene. I mean, did you guys do that scene? Uh, you mean the scene in the, in the car? No, the, it's because the movie's not about that. that. It's not about that. The, the movie's, the movie's about her last two years of her life, her love affair with Dr. Hasna Khan. Um, it's not about her death or any of the circumstances surrounding that. It's really about that, what could possibly have been the only love of her life. So it's, uh, it's more of a romance. Oh, I think. I'm, I'm real excited about it, you know. It's just yeah. there's a lot of stuff out there. But finally, to see something on film. Yeah, you know? it's going to so be quite Congratulations. Thank you very much. Is there anything that you would like to specifically mention other than this? And where yeah, I've, I mean, uh, I'm, I just finished uh, a horror thriller that I did called Vatican Tapes. It's kind of like an ex exorcist-style movie, which is going to be a lot of fun with Michael Pena yeah. and... Uh, um, Dugray Scott are in it and um, and then right after that I I just wrapped on a, my first episode of uh, Intelligence which is the um, the new uh, Josh Holloway series on uh, I think it's on CBS that uh, it's kind of like a Jason Bourne spy yeah. action thriller and I play the sounds the, like the kind of film I need to be in I think you should it's be in TV it thing. yeah yeah because it's a little bit it's a little bit sneaky yeah. it's a little bit secret a little, Secret and a little, spy. A little bit, I love it. Love a little, it. Bit, little yes. bit badass. So I think you should be in that. I'm yeah. definitely going to check it out. Yeah. Yes. You're going to love it. So it's going to air next year, first oh. thing in 2014. Wonderful. And you have a supporting role, a major role? I'm like the. I, I'm not really allowed to say too much about it. I'll just say he's a mysterious man that comes into uh, the lead's life and has a huge impact on what's going on. But it's the, it's the uh, mysterious Ibrahim which comes in and he has this really sketchy relationship with the, the lead's wife Josh Holloway's wife really? uh, and it's a very interesting very interesting storyline wonderful I can't wait to see it um, excited about the Emmys and rooting I, for anybody yeah. in particular are you going? I, the only thing I've been rooting for in the past has been Breaking Bad I love Breaking Bad I don't know Homeland there's a bunch of the TV shows out Homeland, there terrific. Uh, is awesome uh, and deserves everything that it gets so. a friend of mine is in it I'm just so excited oh yeah? Kill them off. Yeah, they kill them off. Yeah, it's like, well, you know, he played the terrorist. <laughs> ah, oh, Naveed. Yeah, Naveed. I know yeah, Naveed. Naveed. He's a good friend of mine. Fantastic. Yeah, he's a good guy. And he did a great job on that show. Oh, my God. It's like, he stole the show. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not biased or anything. No, he did a good really job. Did. Yeah, yeah I was very hard on him. So much talent. He's been in a lot of other things as well, just like yourself. So, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Where can your fans find you? Uh, anything. CassAnvar.com, CassAnvar on Twitter, C-A-S-A-N-V-A-R. CassAnvar, anything, you'll find me. Oh, wonderful. I will do that. <laughs> no, thank you. Good pleasure. to see you again. My pleasure. Thank you. There we have it. Yay.